Hi, this is Robin Heppel from Funeral Futures Websites with another Funeral Home Website Training Series Tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about creating videos with Windows Movie Maker so that you can easily create videos to upload to YouTube and other video sharing websites to promote your website on the internet and get higher rankings in Google and the other search engines. So now I'll share with you the step-by-step -step actions you need to take to get this done. After opening up Movie Maker, you're going to drag the images and audios into the collections area. Then you're going to add the audio to the timeline so that then you know how long to space out the images. And then you'll add the images to the timeline. If you wish, you could add some effects and transitions. And then also, if you wish, you can add a URL text overlay during the video itself. And then once you're done, you just finish the movie by saving it to the computer and it'll be ready to upload to YouTube and all the other video sharing websites. So let me show you how that's done. So here's a video I'm going to put together for the Whitney Murphy Funeral Home in Phoenix, Arizona. The first thing that I'm going to do is drag the audio, which is this uh, audio called Reflections. And we're just going to put it into the timeline. It's royalty free music. And uh, it's here at a minute's length, but we'll probably end up shortening that to about 30 seconds. Then I like to start off with a, with a title image. And by default, Movie Maker is going to make these five seconds, which is perfect. Then I like to start just so that there's not a lot of pictures of empty rooms. We want to make sure that we get the people because it's the people that the fam client families make arrangements with. Then we're going to show a couple of the images of the facility. Just easily dragging them into here. Then an outside picture. And we're going to end with a picture of the sign out front. And then we have a contact frame here. Now with Movie Maker, so we're at about 40 seconds, but what we're going to do is we're going to fade all these in and we could go through the fancy transitions, but you don't want to get too cute. So one neat feature about Movie Maker is it allows you to drag, to squeeze these together. And we just click on the, the one ahead of it and just push it and you can see there that it's starting to transition and that we have this bit of this fade overlap. And we'll just manually do that for each one of these. And we'll do that for the last one. And one thing I like to do with the final one is we're going to drag that a little bit longer because that's the one that's going to be showing. Then we're going to go to the end of the audio. Click on it. We're going to drag it back to there and if we right click over the audio we'll just click fade in and click fade out and for effects um, the only thing I'm going to do is just on a couple of these where you can add the video effects and we're just going to do the ease in on that one and we will ease in on that one there. And that's good. We don't want to get, again, we don't want to get too, uh, too fancy. We could do that to each one of them, but uh, let's just keep it simple. And that's it. So we are now ready to go over here to save, finish movie, save my, save to, oh, I almost forgot. Uh, the text overlay. So we want to add titles or credits and we're going to do this from from this point let's see here we'll just start about here and we're just going to put in the URL and we want to make sure that it is uh, Camel case, so you have the capitals W, M, F, and H. And 
Now I had to do, so if we go to change title animation, what I did is I selected subtitle, which put it at the bottom, which is perfect. And that will be good. So now what we're gonna do is say done. And you can see it's right here, but we're gonna then stretch this out a little bit. And we'll stretch it to here. Okay. So you can see it's not there, but as it it is there through the movie, and then as we get close towards the end, once we'll we'll just end it there because they'll see it again here coming up. And that's all we need to do with that. Then we go to save to my computer to finish the movie. And this is going to create it at 640 by 480 is what we want and 5 megabytes which is really small so that's great and now it's going to create the movie and we'll come back as it's once it's done now it's all done and here it is here And that's it. Now it's ready to upload to those video ser sharing services. And just to recap, we took the images and the audios that were in the collections area and all that you need to do is drag them over there. And then you saw me add the audio to the timeline and then the images and then how I shifted them to kind of fade in and out with each other, uh, how easy it is to add effects and then uh, also to add the text overlay for the URL make sure you use camel case and then just to finish the movie and now it's ready to upload to YouTube and the other video sharing websites for more information about funeral home websites and training videos visit www.funeralfuturistwebsites.com and if you have any questions please email them to me at questions at funeralfuturist.com this is Robin Heppel